Uh, interesting day today, obviously. Came out on the positive end again, which is great. Uh, but it was a weather delay, pushback, interesting morning. I'm really proud of the way our guys handled it. It's easy to have a plan for 10 o'clock BP, you get to the field, and then things start getting pushed back. You're sitting around, you're in the dugout watching it rain. Um, some weak-minded teams that could bother, but we, we did a really good job of just being excited to play the game whenever it started. I told them it was going to clear out. I didn't look that smart when it was pouring again at 1 o'clock, but luckily we got the game off at 1.30, and um, they hung in there and waited for the start and played with a lot of excitement, so it was a good start to the day. So Harris Williams sparked the offense early with the grand slam. Uh, how did that you know, get the team going? That was huge. I mean, we had bases loaded, nobody out. Uh, or second and third, nobody out, and uh, we went back-to-back -back strikeouts, which is tough. And then Tyler Martinez had an unbelievable at-bat to um, walk after a foul ball, foul ball, foul ball. It's 3-2 count. He gets the walk, um, which set up Harris's at-bat. That at-bat goes 3-0, and I thought ball four was the next pitch, so I'm on the umpire. Uh, and the next pitch we hit for a grand slam, so now I'm very happy that he called it a ball <laughs> and we got four runs. But that was huge. I mean, Harris has been the spark plug all year, but he does have power, and a lot of people might not know that about him. So that was a, obviously very big to get out the gates up 4 nothing. Uh, Jesse Barron delivered another solid outing. Can you please talk about his performance? Yeah, that, that's two in a row from him. Really great performances. Um, yeah, but pitched into some bad luck. I mean, he put a guy on when a hit by pitch, but we should have been out of the inning where he gave up two runs. We made a mistake defensively, and uh, but a lot of other pitchers could fold in that situation. And the best part of Jesse is how he stays steady through everything. I don't really think anything bothers him. So um, that was awesome to see. And obviously, getting seven innings for us is huge, where it minimizes what we have to do out of our bullpen. Middle of the order, batters all knocked in a run today. How positive of a sign um, has their play been early in the season? Yeah, it's great. I mean, we've definitely mixed and matched a little bit with our lineup. So um, the key to baseball is, you you know, you get your hits bunched together. And we did that today. You know, you can get a lot of hits, but they might not equal runs. Uh, but if, if the guy's there, it doesn't matter what part of the order does it, but if three or four guys in a row can string some hits together, you usually have some rallies. So... Uh, that was big today, but yeah, it was just positive at bat after positive at bat. Twice we were able to steal third base and immediately after hit a sack fly. So we really made uh, that extra 90 feet pay off for us as we tacked on two extra runs there. It was very important. Cool. Um, Ryan Yerby was dominant out of the bullpen today. Where do you see him fitting in the mix? Yeah, this is pretty much the role he's settling into, uh, protecting or protecting the lead late in the game or keeping the score where it is to give us a rally. I see him as a back-end reliever for us who's going to pitch very important high-leverage situations. I mean, he's got very good breaking ball. He's able to flip that in there a lot of times. And um, when he's ahead of hitters, he's almost impossible to hit. So, uh, yeah, they hit some balls hard off him that we ran down in the outfield, but I really like what I'm seeing out of Yerby, and I see him continuing to grow this role that he has right now. How confident are you in your starting rotation so far and their ability to go deep into the ball games? I mean, knock on wood, it's been awesome. Uh, if your starters can give you six innings, seven innings, uh, really simplifies the game. Not too many decisions have to be made by me. Um, yeah, but that's what we've been doing. It's been great. It's been awesome to watch Max Jones tomorrow. Um, he's the only one hasn't gotten deep, but he's coming off an injury and he's building up. And I'm really confident when he's on the mound and I'm really confident as he builds up, he's going to join what Jesse and Adam are doing. So it's, it's been fun to watch. Hopefully we keep going.